abiondemand.com. Automotive training you can receive anywhere, anytime. Your online training starts here. A couple quick tips here on dual EVAP systems. As I mentioned here already, uh, on the rear ones, you know, quite often the debris ends up blocking off that expansion valve in the rear there. And so that, that's where it's a good idea to flush the system thoroughly, and that's a perfect opportunity to install a filter. You know, it, it's tough on the, on the front evaporator because it's all contained in the engine compartment, but on those rear evaporator cores, you've got a mile and a half of line underneath the vehicle, right? And so this is great. I still remember the G-Series vans. Uh, if we had leaks, this was before the days of splicing and repairing lines. You know, if we had to replace one of those lines, like the body had to come off the vehicle to get it out of there. And so, but there's a lot of opportunity to install a filter there and help reduce contamination going to that rear uh, thermal expansion valve. Also, one common thing, as I mentioned here, uh, on the rear, when it comes out of the evaporator core, that line's gonna go directly to the compressor. So any liquid refrigerant there is gonna end up liquid refrigerant in the compressor, which could cause slugging problem there. And so uh, what we found quite often is if the TXV bulb, the sensing bulb, is loose, it's not gonna sense that the system's getting cold enough. So it's gonna open up that expansion valve that much further, allow more liquid refrigerant to go through. So if you're seeing a, a, a slugged or a failed compressor on a rear system, make sure that thermal expansion valve, the sensing bulb, is actually cont uh, contained properly. And quite often it's got that tape wrapped around it to help insulate it there. Make sure that that's all sealing it properly as well. And I've said this several times earlier here, but these are some of the more common uh, vehicles we see where, where there's actually uh, prone to slugging. So the, the mid-2000s Honda CRVs, 2009 GM vehicles here, and as well as some of the, uh, the Chrysler minivans. And so again, that deslugger, we've got a, a universal application, but there's also specific applications that are plug and play.